In one way or another, railroading in northeastern Pennsylvania has always been unique, or sometimes just different. The layout of the land, the color of the diesels, and the architecture of the ages are all things that have given northeastern Pennsylvania, as well as other places, a distinctive regional flavor that's unlike any place else. And although many outside of the rail fan community might argue that all trains pretty much look alike, knowledgeable rail fans can often tell a train's destination and purpose just by looking at its makeup. Take this train for example. It's early morning, July 9, 2020, and at one time, a seasoned rail fan could surmise that this train is the Enola-bound train 11Z. The Taylor-bound EMP containers would be the easy giveaway to that, but today, it's not the 11Z. Today, this train is the K82 Taylor to Binghamton, New York turn job that ran five and sometimes six days a week. The K-82 is one of several local train crews that work out of Taylor Yard ever since NS began running things back in September of 2015. Seeing the K-82 in daylight has always been rare since it has always been an evening train, usually with an 8 p.m. crew call time. By the time I caught the K-82 here, Norfolk Southern's top 21 version of precision scheduled railroading had been implemented and was pretty much the law of the railroad. The K-82 would soon be downgraded to running Bingo Town only on weekends while the newly minted H-97 Binghamton to Taylor turn would take its place during the week. The point of all of this local nostalgia is the power. For several years under NS, Taylor was often a bastion of cool locomotive power. Foreign units, heritage units, special units, and two and three locomotive lash-ups. Road power comes in on trains into Binghamton and trickles down to Taylor to be used as local power. You saw that many times before on this channel with such specialty locomotives as the Pennsylvania, the Erie, the Lehigh Valley, the Illinois Terminal, the CNJ, the First Responders, and more frequently the barcode unit which a rail fan friend of mine caught working the Luzerne and Susquehanna switch 20 miles down the line at Buttonwood.
The world just keeps on turning, and railroading just keeps on changing. It's just not always for the better. In the beginning, my beloved SD40-2s in duplicate and triplicate were the local staple power. But one after another, the endearing EMDs were retired from the roster and heavy-duty road diesels took over the local switching duties. Not a bad trade-off at the time, but in recent times, the big two and three locomotive lashups have disappeared and now all we get at Taylor is usually a lone unit, usually in the form of boxy wide cab GEs. This is train 37T proper with the grimy but gorgeous 911 on the point. The trailing AC44 C6M number 4018 at that time was one of the newest locomotives on Norfolk Southern.
That nail-biting screeching that you heard before is coming from the train 11Z and is making it stop to set out at Taylor Yard. The 11R was an East Deerfield, Massachusetts to Linwood, North Carolina train that worked Binghamton, New York, Enola, and Hagerstown, Maryland along the way. It was cut back to Enola in 2016 with the Enola to Linwood section becoming the train 13R. Later on, what was left of the 11R was cut back yet again, this time to Binghamton, New York, with the Bingo Town to East Deerfield section remaining the train 11R and the Bingo Town to Enola section becoming the 11Z. In 2017, the 11Z was burdened with the task of dragging the Taylor Freight down from Binghamton, leaving the K82 to do all the local work, along with the K81 and now newly minted K79. This manifest is the Canadian Pacific Train 458, the precursor to the 11R, which became the 11Z, a train that usually ran with Norfolk Southern Power and Canadian Pacific crews. As I've said in other videos, the power on the 458 was usually the power that came up on the previous day on the 459, and in typical operating fashion at the time, the 9645 and the 2077 came up the night before on the northward Binghamton, New York bound train 459. One of only two 459s that I ever caught. Today's 459 is the next to the last one that will come up the line tomorrow on September 17, 2015 and one that I also would not catch. Early morning that day, September 17 that is, the NS train 12T, the precursor to the 37T came up the line with the rare trifecta which included two foreign locomotives. And before you jump through the screen to tell me how CP isn't foreign power on this line yet, seeing CP power of any kind on the 12T was extremely rare, which is why I classify it as foreign on NS trains.
One thing that has not changed from railroad to railroad going as far back as the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western is that northbound trains have to fight their way out of Scranton. Today's Train 14R treats us to a jolly horn salute from a friendly engineer as well as waves from the also friendly conductor Tanner Dalrymple and his brakeman. The third unit on this train is an AC-powered EMD SD80 Mac and sadly by this time had less than three years of service left on NS before being sold off for scrap.
a few miles down grade at our usual spot, train M4R, which is the extra section of that 14R that we just saw with the 80 mat, roars up the hill with two NSACs and the weather-weary Union Pacific EMD. 